Wind speed is often measured at meteorological stations at a standard height of 10 meters above the ground. But this is not going to be representative of the wind speed at all heights because in the atmosphere, the wind speed follows, it varies as a function of height. So I'm going to plot wind speed along the x-axis and height z meters along the y-axis. So at ground level, our wind velocity is zero uh, because of friction at the land surface, and then it increases as you go up in the atmosphere, uh, according to a shape that looks something like this, a bit reminiscent of pipe flow, where the edge of the pipe is the ground surface. And here you have on the pipe wall or at the uh, ground surface, you have friction, which leads to zero velocity and then the wind speed increases as you go up in the atmosphere. Now, if we have the wind speed measured at one height, we can estimate it at another height because it follows a predictable pattern. So let's say we want to estimate wind speed at other heights. We can use this equation, u over u1 equals z over z1 to the p power, where u is the wind speed at height z, u1 is the wind speed at height z1, this is often our reference height, and reference wind speed. And P is some number from between 0 0.07 and 0 0.6, depending on meteorological conditions and surface roughness. And it's equal to 0 0.15 under adiabatic or neutral conditions when you have few surface features, so like a field or over water. And when you have uh, buildings and trees and things, the, the values are a bit different and you can look those up. Let's look at an example problem what is the wind speed at the top of Lane Stadium, a height of 40 meters, if the speed at or near ground level, a height of 1.5 meters, is 2 meters per second for a cloudy night game? We need to estimate u at a height of z equals 40 meters, given information about the wind speed at 1.5 meters. So we have that z1, our reference height, is 1.5 meters and that our u1 at this height is two meters per second, and we're trying to find the wind speed at a height of 40 meters. So we can use this equation, u equals u1 times z over z1 to the p power. We need to know what p is. Well, for a cloudy night, That means we're a class D. We're going to say that uh, we're in a rural area. And that means we look at class D in a rural area. Our P is equal to 0 0.15. So now I can make the substitution where my U is equal to U1, 2 meters per second, times z 40 meters over z1 1.5 meters all to the 0 0.15 power and that gives me 3.3 meters per second.